Okay, let's see if I can do this like dragon punch thing. Oh god, he like won't <laughs> I Ah, uh, dead instantly. Do the move, do the move, do a move! Oh no, we're about to die! Not again! No oh, Chun Li! Welcome back to another episode of Let's Play Thousand One Games. I'm your host, Gaming J, and today we're hopping into a Capcom classic, Street Fighter II Turbo Colon Hyper Fighting Edition. This is the amped up, jazzed up version of Street Fighter II. I will be totally honest, um, I always played Street Fighter II at friends' houses growing up, so I was never fully aware of all the different versions, but I did a little reading before getting ready to play today. So Street Fighter Street Fighter 2 was originally Street Fighter 2, uh, what was it called? Like, just Street Fighter or something like that. Hold on, I have the actual name here. I don't know why I don't have it handy. Street Fighter 2 The World Warrior, which is a version of the game I've never heard of. Then there was Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition, and then Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting Edition. I like how it's Turbo and Hyper, like they really wanted to tell you that this was a fast-paced game. And actually, fun fact about this game, this version of the game, uh, it not only came out less than a year after the previous version, but it came out to fight Chinese bootlegs of mods that were happening in arcades to make Street Fighter II Championship Edition faster and give more moves to the characters. So, I guess people liked Championship Edition, but it wasn't quite fast enough. So, uh, the Chinese bootleggers came along, created mod chips that would go into arcade machines, and they created a, a cult version of Street Fighter called Street Fighter 2 Rainbow Edition, where you could do like special moves in the air, the sonic booms were like homing missiles, there was like all these crazy changes, but one of the big changes is the game went really fast. And uh, Capcom looked at this and they were like, yo, we have to compete with Chinese bootlegs, so they made a version of the game where no mistaking it, Turbo Hyper Edition, it was going to be fast. Um, they also did some uh, balancing tweaks to the different characters and added a few more special moves. So I guess this is the definitive version of Street Fighter 2 if you're going to play on the, the Super Nintendo, uh, which we are. So without further ado, let's go in here and play us some Street Fighter. So again, this is not a franchise I know very well. I, I feel like... Honestly, this book has so many Street Fighter games. We talk about it every single time uh, that there's a new Street Fighter that we have to play. But this game has like, or this book has like, I think six Street Fighter games. Um, and uh, I am not a Street Fighter guy. I didn't know the moves growing up. So I'm going to try and figure it out. Um, we're going to go on turbo mode. In fact, actually, hold on. Let's go the most turbo it will let us go. <laughs> This is gonna be a bad idea for me. But let's do it. Game start. We'll see how far we can get. Um, I am okay with Blanca and E Honda because I feel like you can just spam attacks and they do special moves. Um, obviously, the most iconic characters are Ryu uh, and uh, Ken. I was gonna say Kyle, but <laughs> Ryu and Ken. Uh, Chun Li, of course. Zangief. I mean, there's there's many. Oh, I didn't I didn't actually select this guy. I guess my time on this character select screen ran out. Uh, so we're going to be Zangief. Um, that's okay, though. We're, today we're just here to, like, mess around and talk about uh, some uh, Street Fighter uh, 2 experiences. So uh, I, I did also think that maybe we should check out the uh, arcade version of this um, at, at uh, some point. Uh, maybe like before we sign off today is what, what I mean to say. It's, it's hard to talk and, and be in this fight at the same time. But I will say, uh, ooh, I, get, I did a special move there. Pop towards this guy. Oh, God! Hey, come on, buddy. You're the first guy. I gotta beat you. There we go. We beat him. Look at that hairy-chested, underwear-wearing, vein-throbbing, mohawked Russian there. He's Russian, right? Zangief sounds like a Russian name. Man, this guy, I mean, it would be intimidating to fight anyone in their underwear, let alone this guy. Um, but, uh, yeah, so, this obviously was a very famous arcade game. Um, that's, I mean, that's where it came from, the arcades. But, what's kind of interesting is, I guess I always knew it came from the arcades, but, like, I don't think I ever saw a Street Fighter 2 cabinet, or if I did, I didn't even pay attention to it when I was a kid. 
Like, I always remember this game as a Super Nintendo game. I remember I'd play it at friends' houses, and because they owned it, they would know all the moves, and they would have practiced it, and they would always kill me. So, so I never wanted to play Street Fighter 2. People would be like, hey, I want to play Street Fighter 2. I'd be like, no. No, I don't. Um, unless I can be blank, and you allow me to be, like, cheap as hell. Um, but, uh, okay, Zangief was a bad choice. Where, oh, he did a, a body slam. That's kind of cool. Ah, get out of here, Guile. Let's put Guile in a corner. Come here, buddy. Um, but the other big thing to talk about, just briefly mention today, because I don't, I don't want every video that gets near the end of a, uh, a year for us to just be all about our channel, but it is the case that this is the last 500 video, 500 game we're ever going to play. We are in episode 500. And 99, meaning that the next game that we play will be the last game of year six. I always have to do the math in my head. It's it's not year five. The 500s don't end year five. The 500s are year six because when we started game number one, that was year number one, and we went one all the way up to 100. So the 100th game ended year one. The 101st game started year two of our little journey here to try all the games of the book, a thousand one video games you must play before you die. So yes, if you are new to the channel, you don't know what's going on, uh, the Let's Play a Thousand and One Thing isn't just a clever name. <laughs> there is a book called a thousand one video games just play before you die that we're, we're trying all the recommendations in that book. We don't always agree with every recommendation, and I will I will acknowledge right now that the book leaves out a number of classic games that I think should uh you know should uh be in uh be in the book but you know we we play games outside the book too i play games on saturdays and i play whatever i want i live stream games sometimes uh we do fan recommendation months at at times you know there's all sorts of ways to play other games on this channel that the book might have left out but uh we just got our our arse handed to us by ken get up it's too early for you to be defeated um, <laughs> look how sad he is. He's looking at us, bloody, bruised, his teeth are falling out. I want to select a different character, and I don't know if I continue, will I be forced to use Zangief? I don't want to, I don't want to chance it. So instead, I'm going to let Zangief bleed out. And we're going to go ahead and pick somebody else. And I know I didn't place very high on the scoreboard at all, but I just want to see if I enter my initials. Will I end up anywhere? Oh, I'm, I'm fifth. I actually did place. Wow. Okay. I mean, I feel like most video games when they ship, they set very low standards for their high scoreboards so that you can get on them very easily. Okay, we're going to leave this turboed up. What are these icons, by the way? What is that? It's like a little... I don't know. I don't know what that is. And then this looks like a little spaceman holding a gun. Why? <laughs> So I think the normal mode here is uh, the championship edition. Um, he can change height and weight to some extent. Yeah, that's a normal ability for a human to have. Dalsum is 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 freaky, man. He's like Gumby. He can just stretch in any way that he wants. Anyway, we have to play this game on turbo because it's the turbo edition. Um, I say, let me let me go to my crutch of Blanca. We'll kill a few guys. Maybe we'll switch to E. If we if we die, we'll try continue and see what happens. Um, actually, Chun Li, I can do her like uh, special kick as well. Um, so we can be Chun Li, E Honda. We'll give Ken and Ryu a chance as well. Come on, do the move, do the move, do the move. Oh, I was doing it, but she just punched through it. Oh, it's too turbo for me. There we go. We got it. Okay, come on, Chun Li. Oh man. Okay, Chun Li did not have a fireball apparently in uh, the non-turbo edition of this game. There you go, what are you gonna do, Chun-Li? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a good response. There's a guy selling chickens behind behind us. I like how we're not like particularly fighting in an arena or anything, and these aren't like people who like showed up to watch a fight. Like these are people who like showed up to the market today and there's two people just, or not even two people. There's a girl and like a reptilian beast fighting in the street and nobody's phased by it at all they're like eh tuesday <laughs> you know <laughs> it's just it's how it goes here in mainland china people are fighting monsters in the street nobody's phased by it they're like well i hope the the winner buys a chicken 
You know, that's the biggest concern of the people here. Oh, yeah, we killed her. Grotesque monster beats up girl. I hope you feel good about yourself, Blanca. Blanca's like sort of like the Hulk, where, like, he has torn up pants and, like, no shirt. Oh, God. It's actually harder to do, uh, Blanca's move in this Turbo Edition. I almost feel like they- they totally balanced the characters more and made Blanca less cheap. Which is bad news bears for us, because, uh, how the hell am I gonna win? Oh, I actually won! What- Oh, no, she won! <laughs> Okay, well, you know what? We're gonna get to see a variety of characters, guys. There's no chance for you to beat me. Challenge someone else. Okay. Uh, there's a little twinkle in his eye when you continue. Oh, we do get to select different characters. Alright, so we'll just keep continuing. We'll do our best to see what we can do. We'll see if E. Honda has what it takes to fight her. Okay, let me see the moves. Okay, that's that move. Okay, I see. Alright. He also does, like, a torpedo move, I know. You know, that's the thing. Uh, I don't know if I can figure that out in time. Oh, God. See, the thing with fighting mo or with fighting games, I find, is that there's not a lot of chance, typically, to experiment. Uh, and, like, figure your moves out. Um, at, at least in these old-school ones, you would have to go into, like, two-player mode without having a second player and just take a while to practice all the moves. I mean, I guess that's what people did. Um, or you'd play with a friend and practice, but there's no like time out computer like give me a chance You know, let me practice with this guy Okay, come on Boom Boom. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh God. Oh my god So I was trying to think of all the different Street Fighters that we've played so far on the channel before today uh, I mean we we I don't think we've played Street Fighter 2 and I will Fully acknowledge, Street Fighter 2 is the most iconic version of all the Street Fighters. Um, so it should be played. Um, and I do think that, like, maybe a modern version or something, you know, a modern take, like Street Fighter 4 or something. Because I know those are played at, uh... Oh, shoot, what's the name of that big uh, fighting tournament the Smash Brothers players play? Evo. I know, like, modern Street Fighters and stuff are played at EVO, so it, like, makes sense to include a modern one in a thousand and one list. And, honestly, if I were making the thousand and one list, for historical sake, I might include Street Fighter 1, just because I'm really curious what it's like. Um, but I think there are, like, three or four other versions of Street Fighter that are in the book. Um, which, frankly, once you get past Street Fighter 2, I'm like, are the other ones as influential? as iconic to people who aren't in the fighting game business, you know. Obviously to, to fighting game fans. Um, you know, all the Street Fighters. Let's be Chun-Li. Chun-Li versus Chun-Li. Also, that is not where China is. China is not in, like, northern uh, Eurasia. <laughs> uh, they weren't very good at geographies when they made this game. Okay, how do you do her, like, special move? Alright, Chun-Li! Oh, she threw... Chun-Li is beating up on Chun-Li. I should not tell you guys what color I am and see if you guys- Well, you can probably figure it out. It's probably fairly obvious which Chun-Li I am. <laughs> I, um... I was gonna say the one that's losing, but we're kind of going blow for blow here. Oh, I did a special move. Oh, yeah. I'm the one that likes to jump around, though. I feel like when you're on the ground, you're just asking to get a fireball thrown at you, so I try and stay in the air, but fat lot of good it does me. For a second there, I thought I won. <laughs> I I'm losing track of the colors here. Alright. Go, go! See, the thing with a, a computer fighting itself, you know, like when Chun-Li versus Chun-Li matches happen. If it was human versus human, like if it was like me versus my brother, the funny thing is, like, it is possible for us both to lose track of who's who, you know? Um, in a fight like that. And that's actually kind of fun and funny. But the computer never does lose track of who they are. I've always thought it would be cool to add little cognitive elements like that into computer AI. Like if, like the how the computer could lose track of who it is or like, you know, I don't know. I, I can't think of any other examples off the top of my head. But it'd be cool to add like little human-esque touches like that to the, um, you know, to the, the AI just so it's like... You know, we have some sense of, uh, reality here. 
Because, because computers are notorious for like, um, hold on, let's do a... Ah, there we do! We did a Hadouken! And then we can, uh... Hold on, I... Okay, whatever. We can just do Hadoukens. I was gonna try and do a Shryuken. Or a Tatsasuken, or whatever the heck his moves are. But, uh... I don't know if I can figure it out. Okay, here, here's a question for you. Why, why are Ryu and Ken both white? I, I've always wondered that, you know, like, it's, it's Street Fighter, and it's sort of like, uh, Kung Fu dudes and stuff. And, like, there's plenty of white guys who know Kung Fu and stuff. But, like, I just would have assumed between Ryu and Ken, the sort of karate Kung Fu masters, at least one of them might be of Asian descent. It just sort of... I don't know. Maybe... Uh, maybe, maybe I'm stereotyping there. But, like... I, I mean, especially a guy named Ryu. You know, like... <laughs> if, if you were told you're gonna meet a guy named Ryu, and then, you know, he's a karate master and all this stuff, and then, like, Ryu showed up, you'd be like, oh, I... Like, no offense, dude, but I was 100% expecting somebody of Asian descent to show up. Okay, I think I'm playing this game at a really high difficulty level. Um, I think maybe that's what the stars were. I think I, I think, I thought the stars were the speed of the game, but I think I put this game on super hard. So here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna let Ryu bleed out here. And then we're gonna turn those stars all the way to the opposite level of, uh, basic. We should also check the options menu to make sure that there's uh, no difficulty setting there that we missed. All right, so Jay can't even place on the boards. Options. Oh, difficulty. How about one star? That seems to be about where my skill level is. Turbo. They blast it in your face so that you know you're playing a fast game. All right. I guess you know what the other thing is, is like when you're learning a fighting game like this and you don't even know the moves, it, it is very helpful to um, have the game go a bit slower. So playing the turbo version where you're trying to learn the moves does not seem like a good idea. But you know what I want to do here is I want to actually look up moves. So let's see, street, oh, my controller's in the way. Street Fighter 2 Turbo Fighting. Oh god. Okay. You're just gonna be a punching bag, Ryu. Ryu. Moves. We're throwing this first round so that I can look up uh what to do. I'm getting demolished here. Alright, instruction manual. Getting started. Oh Ryu, I'm sorry, dude. I'm sorry. Okay, let's see if I can do this like dragon punch thing. Oh god, he like won't like <laughs> <laughs> ah, dead instantly. Okay, hold on. Forward, down, diagonal, and then punch. That's how you do the dragon punch thing. That is like not an intuitive move set at all. Forward and then down and then diagonal. That doesn't it doesn't make any sense. And it says it has to be a continuous motion. We're gonna try this again. We can do the hurricane kick. Uh, that one's actually a lot easier. Okay, we might be relying on Shriukens and... Oh, yeah! Oh, yeah! Oh, man, we demolished him. Oh, here we go! Oh, oh man, that, that uh, stun doesn't last at all. There we go. I'm trying to do the, the sort of uppercut things. And uh, I'm just doing Shriukens instead. Um, oh, God. Trying to do the, the the flying kick. Let's just kill him. Oh god, get get away from me, buddy. I elbowed him in the face. Okay, the hurricane kick is down diagonal back and then any kick button. These are like easy moves. Okay. Oh god, do a Hadouken! Defend defensive Hadouken. Oh god, Ken. Okay, hold on. I can't do it now. All the pressure. Oh no, <laughs> he's gonna kill me. Okay, we he, we scared him off last round, but he is not messing around the second time through. He's like, yeah, you think you're better than me? Nobody's better than Ken. Oh, there we go. All right, well, it was ineffective against a Hadouken. God, why can I not do this? Like, what am I doing wrong? I, like, my guy's just ducking. Oh, there we go. 
Oh, there we go. Hadouken, Hadouken. It's like my timing is just bad. You stop dancing around me, Ken. Let's let let's dance, punk. Okay, that was a bad move. Boom. Oh, I did it in the air. Oh, there we go. You're in a corner now. Oh yeah. Oh, we killed him with it. All right. Okay, so I can do a few moves. I can do a little bit of the moves. Um, that's acceptable. Um, I like how E-Honda's hand slap move is just like tap punch repeatedly and you'll do it. It's like the laziest special move ever, but it's exactly my kind of move. Uh, Blanca's electric technique, by the way, he learned from electric eels. That's what the manual says about him. So, I, I, I don't know how, I don't know how you get eels to give up their secrets, but he did. Come on, Chun-Li. Hoya, hoyo! Did Ryu and Chun Li ever have a thing together, or do I just think that because they're like two of the most main characters in this game, and they're male and female? Like, did they ever have a fling or something? I don't know. Kind of feels like they should. I mean, not right now. Right after I punched her in the back and knocked her out on the streets of Hong Kong, but like later on in their relationship, maybe they, you know, may maybe Ryu and Chun Li put their differences aside. They seem like the heroes. There's sort of like, there's like hero characters in uh, fighting games, and there's like villain characters, typically. Do the move! Do the move! There you go. Do it again! She's just standing, she's actually letting me do the move. Nice, I wonder if it's because it's on an easy difficulty and the computer detects I'm struggling to do moves. <laughs> um, okay. Nice, nice thing. Oh, it actually landed! Oh no! No! Chun Li, no, no! <laughs> Damn it! I can't even beat like the second character on the easiest difficulty. Ah, oh, Chun Li, you broke my heart and one of my ribs. Why are we fighting? Let let. Can't you see Chun Li that we love each other? There we go. Oh yeah, back off! Oh, nice try. Nice try. Oh god. Yo oh god. Do the move. Do the move. Do the move. Do the move. Do a move. Oh no, we're about to die. Not again. No, oh, Chun Li. Chun. Li oh, let's just kick her. One kick. Oh, one punch to the. One punch to her beautiful, supple face. And down she goes. He's like, yeah. And they're like, want to buy a chicken? You did. Quite well, but you need more training to defeat me. All right, God. Every fight in this is like a stress fest for me because <laughs> I can barely beat anybody. All right, Ryu. You know what I would like to do is I would like to get to the car smashing stage. So I have that like other series I run on my channel, the like retro mini games, and I did a whole whole bit on like the uh, car smashing. Uh, stage of Street Fighter 2. I think that was the first ever retro minigame I played because it honestly is like one It is like one of the more iconic minigames in existence Come on. There we go There we go This Hadouken and Hadouken 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 Oh son of a bitch the timing for this is so unforgiving. <laughs> what am I doing wrong? Am I doing it too early too late? I don't know I feel like modern fighting games have gotten a little more forgiving with the timing of moves. Back in the day, like, you had to be spot on, man. They didn't, oh God, I'm in the corner. Oh, I spun my way out of that one. They didn't give you an inch, man. You, you, had, to, you had to fight for everything you got. Do the move. Jeez. Oh God. Do the move. There we go. There we go, yeah, okay. Zangief is way easier than, Chun-Li is just like really hard. There we go. He's just gonna sit there and eat it, eh? Alright. Well... That was easy, compared to uh, what we just fought our way through. Maybe Chun-Li's like one of the harder characters to fight and we beat her. Uh, so now we don't have to fight her later on in the roster when... As the enemies gradually get harder as you get farther into the game. <gasps> yes! Yeah, okay. I'm not even gonna try and do the special moves. Oh crap. Uh, because I don't have enough time. Oh no, half of his punches are missing. This is so bad. You know what's funny is 
when I when I did the retro mini games and I played the car smash stage, I think I was practicing the moves a lot more, and I did way better on this car smash stage. Here, this is embarrassing. Also, I don't know if I was playing the Turbo Edition or not. The Turbo Edition feels harder, because the Turbo Edition feels like, if you don't know what you're doing, you're just straight up screwed, man. Because, like, you do not have the time to be messing around. Now, we are getting better at the Hadoukens, though. But, not these things. Oh yeah, and, and Dalsum being able to teleport, that was an addition too of this uh, version, I believe. Do a Hadouken. Yeah, I like how the enemies are just standing there waiting for their Hadoukens. He's like, well, if he's gonna throw a Hadouken, we'll like give him a chance. Oh god, I got lit on fire. Like how you can block fire. Like if you have your arm up, you don't light on fire. But if you don't, then you, you're you're on fire, man. Oh god! Stop breathing fire, dude. Eat less spicy food. Can't hit this guy. I've only hit him with the Dukins this whole match. Did I win? Time up. Oh yeah, we won through a technicality, I think. I'll take it. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Jeez. Okay, Hadouken him again. Oh god. Oh god. Oh, what a... He teleported in front of me and then lit me on fire. That does not... That, that doesn't seem like street fighting at a certain point. When you're bringing in the ability to, like, phase through reality and breathe flames. You know, like, I think the idea of street fighting is supposed to be two guys, you know, kind of like bare knuckle brawling. You know? Bit of, bit of, a little more basic than your whole, uh, you know, breaking the laws of physics as we know it. But whatever. Whatever. The elephants are cheering us on. I don't know why the elephants are happy that we won, but they were. You did quite well. That's just like his standard line to say to everyone who he beats. You did quite well, but you need more training. Oh, Ryu versus Ryu. So, in other fighting games, like Mortal Kombat and stuff, they save the mirror match for, like, near the end. Like, it's a special match. But I guess here in Street Fighter, it's just sort of like, you know, whatever it's like. The first match could be a mirror match. It has no special meaning, you know? But, like, frankly, if I went to show up for a street fight, and my opponent was myself, and I got there and it actually was me, I'd be like, what the hell's going on? Like, talk about breaking the laws of physics. What is happening? You got me from a parallel dimension to fight me, and he's better at Hadoukens than me. There we go. He did a special move to dodge my Hadouken. That's just showing off, bro. That's such a dick move. I, can, I can't I can even do that move that he's doing. He did it to dodge the other move that I can barely do. That is so rude. If I lose to this guy, can I just become him and then keep going through the game? Because technically, Ryu won. Oh, God. Oh god. See, if I could spam Hadoukens like he can. I can't do them on command, though. Ugh. Oh god, no, no! We are, right, we've got to beat this guy up with our hands. Hold the old-fashioned way. Punching him in- oh, I, I'm the blue guy. Punching him until he passes out. Come on, buddy. Just fight him. Huh. Oh, he saw that jump coming, and he killed us. Alright, enough of Ryu. Ryu can't beat Ryu, but you know who might be able to beat Ryu? Is... Blanka? Maybe? I don't know. Who Who is the foil to Ryu? I always figured Ryu was like the generic character who was just kind of good at everything. Well, let's try the old standby, Blanka. From Brazil, he flies to Japan. Ready to have a street fight. Also, I don't think there's street fights when you're flying internationally to find your opponents. I think a street fight is, a, you know, it's it's like a brawl after after a you know a night at the bar. <laughs> it's not it's not an organized international fighting tournament. <laughs> the street fighting international fighting tournament, sponsored by Coca Cola and Red Bull, you know. Uh, street fights are more just like off off the cuff on the whim, you know. Anyway, Blanka did remarkably well against Ryu. Man, he demolished him. Gives me a lot of hope. 
Gives me a lot of hope that on an easier difficulty, the cheapness of Blanca is gonna get me through this game. I'm just gonna hop around like a monkey, get him into a corner, and then electrocute him. Oh, come on. Come on, no. Oh, the stun does not last that long in this game, actually. It's kind of deadly for people. Oh, we... The, the secret of the electric eels was way too much for Ryu. Wait. Maybe E Honda will be better in this, too, actually. Uh, apparently, Blanka can also roll up into a ball, hold back for two seconds, then press forward and any punch button. We could try that. That's like an easy enough move. So, let's see. One, two. Oh, we just, we did it. Only he just punched me out of it right away. Okay, let's. Come on, fat boy. Fat boy versus fat boy. But can a, can a samurai, can a sumo wrestler beat a fat monster? That's the question. Oh, yeah. Back off. Back off. Oh, oh. Okay. Oh, he got us. He got us. Okay. We'll get him next time. And the background goes nuts when he wins. Oh, God. Oh, God. We gotta get on the other side of his, like, slap. Oh, there we go. There we go. Oh, yeah, he's done. No, 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 no! Oh, I can't get out of this! What the hell? That was cheap. Okay, but that was a decisive victory there. We demolished him. So here's a question for you guys. Do you like fighting games? where the fights are over like in you know 10 seconds or do you like fighting games that like where your health bar lasts a lot longer oh crap he's gonna beat us okay i want to try blanket one more time against e honda because i feel like we have a shot with beating him um but then if we lose we'll switch characters um but yeah do you guys like uh fighting games were like because like literally those fights each, each lasted like five to eight seconds you know we're going through a whole we spend more time on loading screens and like the round one fight than we do in the actual uh in the actual battle but like when the when the health bars can be diminished so quickly i kind of feel like if you make one or two mistakes in a, in a match you're done right so it requires like a high level of precision and you can't make any mistakes as opposed to a game like Smash Brothers, where like, like definitely, you know, things can go fast, but I feel like, uh, you know, you can make a few mistakes and recover. Like there's a lot of dynamics to like a fight in Smash Brothers. And I don't know what the health bars are like in the modern Street Fighter 2s or Street Fighters. Um, if the health bars got beefier and you lasted longer, but it just kind of feels like in this, like, it's the match is decided on just a couple of moves you get put in a bad spot once and oh brick breaking hey i sense a new episode for retro mini games i don't know if i knew this existed <laughs> again i was not a uh oh i gotta get on the other side shoot break the bricks oh he smashed his face into the bricks i don't know if that's how you're supposed to do it blanca but whatever man he demolished a brick wall baby Cool. I mean, that wasn't as cool as breaking a car, but uh, it was cool. Blanca versus Blanca, mirror match. Okay, I am the blue one. Oh God. Oh yeah, oh yeah. We're just gonna roll at each other in ball form. Back and one, back one, two, forward. Oh yeah. See. Blank is kind of the character that I has simple enough moves that I can do. <laughs> oh yeah. See, it's interesting though that you can even electrocute Blanka because he turns electrical. So you think it would be like when Thor tried to electrocute Iron Man in the first Avengers and it just supercharged him, you know? But I mean, I guess Blanka doesn't work that way. Oh, he just slapped me out of that electrical thing. See, this is, this is the move that would piss off your friends. <laughs> when people wanted to play Street Fighter 2, it was like, the only thing I could do is be Blanca, push him in a corner, and electrocute him to death. And, uh, it's hard to defend against, even if you know it's coming, I find. Or at least, I don't know if it is hard to defend against it, because I've never had to defend against it. But from, 
but from what I've seen with my friends trying to defend against it back in the day, it was hard to defend against. They had trouble with it. So, yeah, we usually didn't play a lot of Street Fighter 2. We'd move on to another game really soon. Okay, I wish that ball, like, went further. Like, across the whole screen. Oh, man, we just eating guile for breakfast, though. There we go. I like how one of the airmen brought his girlfriend. She's just in the back like, hey, 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 hey. Continually, like, waving at us. All right, let's go, Guile. Oh, psych! I was just waiting to go into ball form. Okay, come on. Want some? Oh. Okay, he, he's scared of me. Look at him. He's, like, backed himself into a corner. Oh, there we go. You can't Sonic Boom your way out of that, buddy. <laughs> oh, man. Every time I play a new Street Fighter game, I'm like, I'm gonna give all the characters a shot, try all these different characters, but Blanca is just so easy. I don't know. It's a crutch. I, I, uh, it's... It's a crutch that's holding me back from learning real moves, I think. Probably. But we are- we're actually making it through this game. We were playing on the easiest setting. I fully acknowledge that. There's nothing to brag about, but, uh... Oh, see, the- the- the move sucks. You know, I guess it's a defensive move, because it, it- it doesn't go far enough for you to actually, um... You know, hit anyone who, uh, is not, like, sort of rushing you. Oh, God. Why did I try and be fancy? There we go. Jeez, Balrog almost gave me a run for my money. You win. I like how there's like bikini magician girls just hanging out in the background, just walking around, watching the fight. They're just like, our boy Balrog's fighting, man. Come on, man. Oh, yeah! Get a spinning butt to your face. Okay, being in, putting yourself in the corner just to do that spin move turns out to be a bad idea. So instead... We're gonna go by the old standby of electrocute him to death. Like, how's anyone supposed to beat that? Imagine you go to fight someone, you have your fists, and he can literally electrify his whole body. So if you go to punch him, it, it counters you, right? <laughs> like, it just electrocutes you. Hilarious. Oh, the barrel stage. Yeah, bust those barrels. Oh, I'm getting beat up by barrels. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. How are you supposed to do this? I don't know. I've never done this before. I don't think I've ever seen this stage. Am I, how many I, am I supposed to break? <laughs> He's just getting tussled around by these barrels. Oh, man. That's funny. Three barrels. He's ashamed. Blanca, sorry. Blanca, sorry. He's covering his face in shame. Are there only like three levels left? Damn. Alright, Blanca. Do your thing, man. Oh, yeah! Hua, hua. Vega's fast, but you can't outrun inevitability. I am inevitable, Vega. I think Vega can lose his mask or his claw or something like that. In, uh... I forget how it happens. But it's possible, I believe. Alright, also we are fighting in like an underground Spanish, like, brawl club. This, you know, this actually seems more like a street fighter thing. <laughs> Slightly more like a, you know, like what you'd expect. I mean, it's still more organized, but at least it's sort of like an underground fight club style brawl, you know? And we crushed him. Are we gonna beat the game just by being cheap? Look at him. Oh, his claws all messed up. Seeing you in action is a joke. This Blanca. Okay, one more guy, and then we have M. Bison. And I think, wasn't it the case that M. Bison was... So, Balrog. Um, the name Balrog is supposed to be for M. Bison and vice versa. Because M. Bison is supposed to be a rip-off. Riff, not a rip-off, but a riff off Mike Tyson. And uh, then they were, like, worried about... Uh, man, this guy's really tall. They were worried about, like, getting in trouble, um, legally, so they swapped the names in the North American version. But I think Balrog is the name of the, the final guy in the Japanese version, and M. Bison is the name of the boxer, Balrog, in, uh, in the Japanese version. They just swapped it in North America. 
Someone can correct me if that's wrong, but I believe that is the sort of uh, genesis of these names and stuff. Also, I like how we're fighting near like, like a giant statue here. Like a beautiful grassy field. We came, we came to this lovely temple in order to pummel ourselves one another. There's no audience, no judges, nothing. It's just the two of us. The Street Fighter tournament is based on the honor system. You and your opponent meet up, you fight, and whoever wins is supposed to report back honestly to M. Bison. He doles out the winnings or whatever. I don't, I don't even understand what kind of tournament we're in. We're just fighting for no reason. Do we need a reason? Oh, hello, M. Bison. Oh god. Can you be electrocuted? Are you immune? Oh god, I remember that. He, yeah, he has like... He has, he can like summon... He has sort of like Captain Marvel style powers. Oh god! Okay, that move worked out. Oh god. We haven't electrocuted him once, but we are still almost beating him. Oh! Oh, we electrocuted him into a statue! Busted it! Damn. Alright, we're about to win Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fast Super Ultra Warp Speed Edition. All by being the cheapest that we possibly could. <laughs> oh no! Or are we gonna win? I don't know. Maybe this guy's gonna give us a run for our money. I can't electrocute him though. He's actually very good at dodging the electrocution. Oh, but not good enough. He got himself into that corner. And that's it, like, <laughs> these matches go so fast. It's like, it's just game over, we just won, wow. Congratulations! Why don't you try the next harder difficulty? Uh, nope. <laughs> I'm good. I, uh, you know, I know what's waiting for me the high, next higher difficulty. Failure. Utter failure. Is that it? There we go, J number one! Ahead of Mick, Yelm, and I uh, didn't get a chance to read the others. Anyway, Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting Edition is one of the games in the book. A thousand one video games you must play before you die. I do think that this is a game you should play before you die. Um, it's not a game I owned. Not a game I'm particularly good at. I am not great at showing it off, so hopefully today was at least funny for you guys. You could, like, be amused by my failures or my musings or something. But uh, I know I'm not the best at fighting games, and especially this one is so iconic, so classic, so influential um, that I wish I was better at it just to give you guys a better show. But at the same time, you got to see all the characters because we made it through the whole game. We tried a handful of them. I did try and do some special moves. I didn't just phone it in as <laughs> in some fighting games I'm apt to do. But um, even though this is not my kind of game and I'm not very good at it, I do actually think, like, this is just a part of our shared, you know, retro gaming culture. Street Fighter 2 Turbo, one of the most iconic games out there. If you have any inkling towards fighting games, um, you should be playing this. You should have played this at least once in your life. So, yeah, definitely, I think this belongs in the book. Um, and as I've said, there's a lot of Street Fighter games in this book. I think maybe some of those could be pulled out, but I would definitely leave this one in. Um, but hey, those are just my thoughts. What do you guys think of Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting Edition here? Um, oh, you know what? Before we fully sign off, I did say we would check out the arcade version. Let's take a quick peek at that just to see what it looks like. Because again, I grew up on the Super Nintendo version. That's This is the version I know. I guess I always did know there was an arcade version, but it just never kind of clicked with me. I don't even know if I've ever seen this. Let's take a quick look. Warning, this game is for use in all countries, excluding the United States of America, Canada, Mexico, and Japan. Wait. Oh, so I guess this is like the European edition. Um, Alright, we get an actual intro here. Oh, where somebody just punches a dude out. Neither of those are characters that are actually in the game, though. Street Fighter 2 Hyper Fighting Edition. I think it was only known as Turbo in Japan, but they kept Turbo for the Super Nintendo uh, release. So things look about the same. The music sounds a little different. It sounds wrong to me, but again, I'm just so accustomed to the uh, Super Nintendo version. Let's try old Blanca here and see if the cheap moves still hold true, still work out here. Um, oh, it does feel a little faster, actually. Oh, God. So the characters seem bigger. The environments seem a little more detailed. Honestly, though, like, the Super Nintendo port is, like, uh, a good... Uh, 
a good part of this game. Like, it does, you know what, the, the, the actual gameplay mechanics feel very, very similar to the Super Nintendo version. It's just like a tad faster, but not even that much, so. Yeah, I don't know, they did a good job. Do we see one more fight? Like, oh god, oh, I almost won. Kinda wanna try Ryu in this, uh, in this version too. But I do also wanna see if I can win. If I could win one arcade match in this. That'd be cool. When I was in high school, the cafeteria had a Capcom versus Marvel arcade machine, and there were some friends I had, and the, the whole friend group, all of them played that game all the time. They were all really good at it, and they knew all the moves and stuff. And after they had lunch, they would go over to the cabinet and play. And I just watched because I didn't know any of the moves. I wasn't very good at it, but, oh, crap. We do the, oh, the, you can do the spinny ball thing. Oh god, he just grabbed me by the face, and I haven't been able to electrocute him very much. I guess Blanca sucks in the arcade version. Or he's less good, we will say. Because Blanca's always good. I will meditate, and then destroy you. Look at Blanca, his like, eyeballs are falling out of his face. Okay, that, the, the continue screen is, uh, a lot, uh, cooler in the arcades. Okay, let's just see, uh, let's just try Ken real quick. Can I do a Hadouken? That would be cool. One Hadouken. Oh god, he- what? Oh, I did a Hadouken! It didn't land, but I did it. Oh, and I did the spin kick, too. There we go. I- I can't even get a single hit in. Okay, I guess- I guess there's no easy difficulty setting for the computer on the arcades, but yeah. Um, okay, so the arcade version is basically, you know, if you grew up playing the Super Nintendo version, there's probably not a huge difference. The only thing is the arcade version has six buttons, so it has three, uh, three kicks and three levels of punch, but that's about it. Oh, I hit Dalsum. Sweet. Oh, I Hadouken'd him. Sweet. Hadouken again! Do it again! Okay, whatever. Just jump so he doesn't kill you. Anyway, what do you guys think of Street Fighter 2 Turbo Hyper Fighting Edition here? Is it a game that you played back in the day? Do you have fond memories of it? Tips or tricks? Things I could have done to make my let's play, uh, or make my, my gameplay better, you know? Tips for how to be better, a better Street Fighter. Did you play the arcade version? Did you play the Super Nintendo version? Whatever the case may be, let me know in the comments down below. And uh, as always, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. And again, we are reaching a huge milestone in the channel. Holy, holy, jeez, I actually beat him. Um, we are hitting our 600th game, the next game. Um, and then after that, we are on to year seven. Seven years of working on this thousand one games just play before you die book. Time flies, my friends, time flies. I, it, whether you're new to the journey or you've been along for the whole ride, um, I hope you guys have been enjoying what you've been seeing and we got lots of fun stuff coming up for you in the next year. So yeah, stick around. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. I'm just going to be continually here fighting uh, yoga masters, which I think is what Dalsum claims to be, but let's be honest. He is, whatever he's practicing is some kind of like dark wizardry, like no yoga guy can do this. So I'm just going to be here dying on Street Fighter 2. But you guys take care of yourselves. Alrighty, guys. Peace. What are you going to do, Chun-Li? Oh, okay. <laughs> that was a good response.